Alright. <clears throat> Here's another game of Frozen Synapse. Uh, this was a game that I started like early this month with my friend. And before I even start with any planning or anything like that, just fucking look at the starting setting. No thanks. Um, pretty much, uh, if you think about it, there is no way for my machine gun to actually survive this situation. <laughs> uh, he has machine gunner here. He's going to run into the window, so I have no no way to engage him. And this guy on the right side. He would actually just stay here if he wanted to. But like uh, he can run run between this gap without me getting a shot on him. And he can take this window here. And if he if he aims from here, I'm fucking screwed because I will just die. There's like nothing I can do with this guy here. Uh, the gap between here is too small. You can move move around here. Otherwise, I would have tried to make the run for it. But well, it's like if you stay in this room, you're just going to die. So I had to try something really special. I was just planning to actually run away all the way down here, even though he has the shotgun guy here. If you would bring the shotgun guy here to aim up here, this guy would just die on the first turn no matter what. But instead, he actually moved the shotgun to a different way. And the other guys that I have are on this side of the map. And before I put the game going on, I want to show the planning here. <laughs> First of all, you're going to ignore this guy. Ignore him and go forward. And I'm pretty much just hoping that this guy on the left side would see me when I actually try to run by. I did simulations, like if I just run past here and he gets the aim here, around here on the window, he will take the aim, but he doesn't have time to aim and actually shoot me. So, I can run here, for sure. If he leaves the guy here, I will die, for sure, of course. But I'm estimating that he will run up here, up here on the on the top side, to take me on, on this room if I stay there. But it's kind of foolish, because if he knows that I'm gonna die there, if I'm gonna wait, what's the, what's the plan? So... He knows that he can't shoot me if he runs up here, so he's going to take the high path. Uh, and, and it's pretty much going to just force me to run away. Too bad this guy is not aiming the right way. <laughs> so, yeah. Should I take this turn by turn or just show the whole game? Oh fuck it, let's just go with like turn by turn. So, running away from here, they actually get here, behind the box, and he's having like the positions that I was talking about, but if you look at this guy, he tries to take the aim, but I have just barely enough time to get this, get the behind the covers, it's, it's really amazing how that is impossible. <laughs> And the other guy, of course, went up here, so... So what happened outside? Maybe we should check that out as well. Okay. Here's my shotgunner. I ordered him to wait here for my machine gunner outside here. Get on the position for the shotgun guy. And the wait time is just barely enough. Yeah, it's barely enough for my shotgun guy to wait this shotgun guy that he has to come up here and die and if he would uh, delay his movement slightly he would get here safely but my machine gunner here he will take the 
aim on his shotgunner. So he cannot wait. So if he goes out out here, he's pretty much dead. There's no no explanation for that. Unless he went. Uh, no, there's no way. There's no way he could have gone to any w different way. He should have just gone inside. So, oops, sorry about that. So I'm just waiting there. I get the shot on him, and I move a little bit closer. Oh yeah, there's a lot of planning going on here later on this game, but that's not relevant right now. So right now here, I'm trying to take the aim on this guy, but he's of course going going behind the cover. There's no way that I'm gonna kill him. So I'm just deciding to run away behind the cover. All right. Now my shotgunner here is going to the window and trying to get the drop on these guys. But he doesn't have enough time to do that. And my machine gunner outside is trying to take down the top machine gunner here. Which is not going to work. Because he's going behind the cover. And I'm ordering this guy to just move move up here on this window. Take cover on this side of the map. He's pretty much just screwed up. I mean, there's nothing he can do right now. You just have to give up. Um, and then of course the shotgunner gets in here and does, does his magic. Let's watch it like this so there's nothing going on on the way. Those plannings are pretty much taking the whole map. <laughs> so yeah, he tries to run with the machine gunner up there but just make it. He should have just ordered him to actually run. He did hit just walk. Yeah, he, he tried tried to scr crouch there. He's, well, he was ducking, yeah. That doesn't work. Then I just pretty much wait here. I have perfect sight. He has no way to kill this guy. Uh, my other machine gunner is coming up here to secure this place as well. And my shotgun guy is going in. And then we're just pretty much here. There's like nothing he can do. He just have to. He just have to give up. And the shotgunner goes and kills him. So yeah, that was pretty pretty interesting start at at least in this game. I mean, it, it was pretty amazing that I survived with the fucking machine gunner here. Now let's watch the whole game. Yeah, that's pretty much of it. I uh, hope you enjoyed my another commentary video. I made one before this. And sorry about my English. I'm Finnish guy, so... I can't pronounce shit properly, so... So, yeah, that's it. I'm done. Have a nice day.